what are the finding method? Medulla oblongata. So which aspect is this? Ventral. See. So this aspect, whatever we are seeing is the ventral aspect and the one which is behind is the dorsal aspect. Okay. Mm -hmm. so the function is it is connecting the spinal cord to the rest part of the brain. So it has very important centers which are controlling the mechanism of breathing, digestion, heart rate and blood pressure. Okay. Now this is all medulla oblongata. is extending between the spinal cord and the pons to be more specific. Okay. So where does it lie? In the posterior cranial fossa. The shape of this medulla oblongata is it is spiriform and length is around 3 centimeters. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you just take a section in the center, you will see that will be central canal in continuation with the central canal of spinal cord. Okay, upper part will be open and it form, as it forms the caudal part of the floor of fourth canal. That means below stria medullaris, whatever area was there, that is all contributed by the posterior aspect of the medulla oblongata. Mm -hmm. Now coming to the various features of the medulla oblongata, external features. So what are the external features we have in medulla oblongata? So this is anterior median fissure. Okay. So can you find there is some X, 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 X like, uh, like uh, things over here? Mm -hmm. We call it as yes. pyramidal decussation. That means pyramidal tracts are crossing over. Right track, right side track will move to left side, left side track will move to right side. Okay, that is pyramidal decussation. Like Nodar tracts is that. Okay. Yeah. So we also have see this is posterior median sulcus. Okay. Posterior median sulcus. Then uh, what are the other structures? We have external features, anterolateral and See, first of all, exactly this is the anterior median fissure. Okay, then anterolateral and posterolateral sulci, which divides it into like uh, anterior, posterior, and lateral. So this overall, this region is anterior region. The side one will be the lateral region, and the one which is behind this area will be posterior region. Okay. So let us see what you see in the anterior or the ventral region. You are finding two pyramidal shapes. Pyramid. Pyramids in anterior region and lateral region, it is rounded elevations are actually called as olives because it has underlying olivary nucleus. Okay. We already know like medulla oblongata is giving connection to the cerebellum via inferior cerebellar peduncle. Okay. Mm. So the lower part you will find in the two elevations will be like this. See, they are actually labeled here. We call it as Gracile tubercle and cuneate tubercle. Okay, these elevations. Okay, on which aspect is this? Dorsal aspect. Dorsal. Okay, this which aspect is this? Ventral. ventral. So coming from ventral to dorsal, let's move gradually. We have two pyramids, then two olives. Then as you move posteriorly behind, okay, on the dorsal aspect, we have gracile tubercle and Okay. Okay. Or this sulcus behind is the posterior median sulcus. Median sulcus. Yeah. The same like in the spinal cord also you use the same words no? anterior median fissure and posterior median sulcus. The same thing yes. is continued here. Okay. The same posterior median sulcus if you see in the floor of fourth ventricle also we use the same word median sulcus. It's a partition between the two, uh, like halves of the floor of food. Mm. Generally, we take in middle of long data, we have three sections. Okay, so uh, like uh, transfer section, we will see cross sections at lower closed part that is at the pyramidal decussation. This one, this, that means this is the cross section. Okay, then next we will see. Internally, you will see like sensory tracts are crossing over. Do you remember the names of sensory tracts? Anterior spinothalamic and lateral spinothalamic tracts. They also okay. take a same, isn't it? Crossover, we have studied in physiology. Okay, so at that level, we take one section that is sensory decussation. Internally, we will see this crossing. Okay, at the open part of middle oblongata, that means which the one which is very close to the 
open part of that means towards fourth ventricle that means sections have come from down to upwards okay okay that means suppose this is first section this is second section this is third section okay one is at close part of medulla pyramidal decussation second is sensory decussation third is at fourth ventricle open part okay one two three three sections so all three sections you just try to i am asking you to practice one diagram per day so that it will not be confusing and better you start from middle of oblongata lower sections go in that order first try to learn the section of spinal cord because whatever tracks you learn there same sections names will be repeated you will get that order you will like understand better if you start learning sections from down first learn spinal cord then middle of longata last one pyramidal decussation then sensory decussation then upper open part like that you go then lower pons upper pons inferior follicles of mid brain superior follicles of mid brain like that you try to learn all seven sections okay so this is like we are lower close of middle of longata so always this side and then you we have Aspect, the side leg, the opposite aspect. Okay, so these two elevations we have pyramids, isn't it? Just now we have seen on lateral aspect of pyramids, we have seen olive snow. On ventral aspect, isn't it? So the underlying pyramidal tracts, you can see the crossing over. These are the motor tracts, pyramidal tracts. Okay, so motor tracts. Okay, and various tracts names are given. These are the larger sensory tracts. What we see here. Fasciculus gracilis, fasciculus pinnatus. They are also called as tracts of ball and burdock. And this blue in color are the nuclei of these tracts. The nucleus of nucleus gracilis and nucleus pinnatus. Okay. Then you are finding such big nucleuses of trigeminal, spinal nucleus of trigeminal, spinal tract of trigeminal. Okay. Many other tracts you are finding. Try to learn all these tracts. Okay. Ascending and descending tracts which are moving at this. Area of the lower close part of medulla oblongata. Okay. Just learn the sections and label them. Then we have sensory decussations. Okay. So like above pyramidal tract, we have sensory decussations. Okay. So this will be the upper open part. What are the underlying cranial nerve nuclei here? You remember? What are, what is this so, hypoglossal and vagal triangle very good hypoglossal and vagal triangle this is the olivary nucleus which we will see at the level of olive okay and the second part of the middle of the olive okay. some colleges you should have seen how two sections are there in apollo mm. isn't it so try to learn that what is more important Medulla oblongata, which artery is moving from here? This is completely middle continuous spinal cord. So it's directly supplied by the vertebral artery. Indirectly, it's also supplied by spike of posterior inferior center bar artery. Okay. We know very much important vital centers are situated in medulla oblongata: respiratory centers, blood pressure, vasomotor centers, isn't it? Cardiovascular centers are situated. So suppose if this area is damaged. Then it is fatal. That means person will die. That's what happens in hanging. No, what happens mm. in hanging? The middle oblongata level only is getting cut because of which the respiratory centers and the cardiovascular centers are immediately suppressed, and the person will die. Okay. okay? Mm. So common vascular lesions are lateral medullary syndrome and medial medullary medulla oblongata medullary syndrome. Okay. So if it is due to the thrombosis of posterior inferior cerebellar artery by the then you will see it is lateral medullary syndrome okay. medial medullary syndrome is because of the thrombosis of vertebral artery okay. so pica that is left now like posterior inferior ma'am can you repeat ma'am medial uh, is, is due to what first you understand logically if you can see it okay Near to the hmm. midline, which artery is there? We have vertebral artery. Vertebral artery. Obviously, near hmm. to midline, if vertebral artery is blocked, 
then the name name of lesion would be medial medullary syndrome okay okay away from midline which artery branch we have seen pica pica posterior and cerebral artery yes. okay so because it is away from midline what is the name of syndrome okay lateral medullary syndrome lateral medullary syndrome okay now okay. suppose if that artery is blocked so many underlying nuclei and tracts are there no those will be damaged mm. because of which these uh, like uh, symptoms the patient presents loss of pain and temporary sensation okay presenting tracts are damaged okay axillary phase and contralateral half of the body ataxia manner of walking is gone vertigo is something like uh, ringing sounds which you find in the ear okay gag reflex the protection reflex that means could may get aspirated into the respiratory tract okay that's what absence of gag reflex difficulty in swallowing articulation means speech also will be difficult corner syndrome means it is given in brachial plexus also grouping of upper mm -hmm. eyelid uh, loss of sweating and that condition is corner syndrome vomiting nausea to and fro movements of eyeball okay hiccups mm -hmm. and ocular lateral fusion in the sense like eyeball movements are also damaged so you sometimes it will be asked beta what is wallenberg syndrome or lateral medullary syndrome it was asked many times in fact can be a three marks question so if it is not elaborated in chaurasia go with vishram singh's class and you just follow me for points that is in the fact sheet mm -hmm. this is lateral medullary syndrome just know what i am saying wallenberg syndrome this is the area which is supplied by posterior inferior cerebellar artery mm -hmm. medial medullary syndrome also called as degerens or anterior bulbar syndrome okay so here that um, paralysis of the same half of the tongue that is lower motor neuron tract that means which cranial nerve is involved here tongue muscles means hypoglossal nerve isn't it mm. so there may be contralateral paralysis then loss of kinesthesia and discriminative touch kinesthesia means what pressure changes are not felt and discriminative means group touch fine touch that uh, discrimination is lost okay okay so this is all about that we can stop here yes ma'am thank you so when are you going to write the exam 